this module, we're going to take a look at uh, typical digital signage use. Uh, one of the configurations we sell is a single LCD with the Dactronics web player installed. The Dactronics web player installs on an LG WebOS powered display. And WebOS is LG's operating system, smart TV platform, powered LG smart TVs for, for quite a long time really reliable and stable performance and uh, allows us to build a software only media player that installs as you can see by the diagram it uses their api the web os operating system to uh you know to run so basically we install a software package on top of that lg web os powered tv and that web player we call it the datronics web player is functions as a media player that connects to Venus Control Suite and allows us to have a media player without installing external hardware for a digital signage solution. Uh, so it eliminates that external media player, like we said, it installs directly on the display. So really all you need in the kit is a, a mount, the display, and then you connect the display directly to the network, power obviously, and Venus Control Suite can can control the Daptronics web player that's installed directly on that television. So a few things to know, uh, it's sold through Configure One as a, as a solution um, with matching components. Software only, DWP is a software only install um, and we do that on site. It's not possible to pre-configure the DWP like we do with the DMPs. Um, primarily because you know the, the display is drop ship directly to the site and there's no real external piece of hardware to ship. No spanning. Uh, the DWP is a single screen only type uh, install. So each LG WebOS TV or display gets a, an install of DWP and, and there's no spanning of, of content across those displays. It activates in VCS through a registration code, uh, very much the same as the DMP does. And as we said, eliminates that external hardware component uh, from the equation. You build content for the DWP in VCS Web Editor, just like you do the DMPs. And if we take a look at the riser diagram, you can see up on the left hand side under front view default player, you'll see that really all the only connectivity is, a, is an Ethernet connection to Dean's control suite. Take a look at a little bit of a video here that kind of describes uh, what a, a single screen LCD uh, with DWP installed. And so you can see there's no HDMI cables into the HDMI connectors on the TV. There's only a, a network jack. And in fact, in this video, the RS-232 cable is installed and you don't even need that uh, in the real system. You follow the configuration and install instructions, and that's uh, defined and, and outlined in the DWP install guide. Through a series of steps, uh, you follow those again through the install guide. And once you have uh, completed those steps, you arrive at a registration code. You enter that reg code in PCS to associate the display to an account. And now you have a media player capable of playing out the same kind of content that we would with an external player. That's kind of a, you know, one of the advantages uh, is to eliminate that external hardware and um, power VCS digital signage uh, through our electronics web player.